Now, we know not all of us are called to foster or adopt, but this is for those of you who want to foster, there's just always something standing in your way. The number one reason why I hear that you can't foster is because you would just get too attached. Now, when I hear that, I think, you don't think that I get attached? I'm the one that's doing homework with these kids, tucking them in at night. I'm investing myself fully into these children. You may not know that these kiddos might not know what a normal parent-child relationship is. So they need somebody like us to teach them and to show them what that is. Now, every time a child leaves, it breaks my heart for me. But that's usually good on the other side. That means they're either being reunified with their family or they get to go be with their forever family. If you think that you couldn't foster because you would just get too attached, you would be perfect for it. The second reason I hear is because it will affect your biological children. And I wanna let you know that I 100% agree. Now, my kids were younger when we started this, so they don't really remember a time before kids were coming in and out of our home. But I'll tell you, my kids are kind, they're compassionate, they forgive others even when it doesn't feel deserved. And they know that we have been blessed with so much that others may not have been. And so they share. They share their mom and dad, they share their toys, their school. And now it's not easy, but a few months goes by and nobody remembers who's foster or adopted or biological. All the lines are blurred and we're all just a family. When you become a foster parent, you get to pick your age range. You get to pick your parameters. You do not have to take an age range that you're uncomfortable with. When we first started, our age range was like zero to two. And as we fostered more and become more comfortable in our parenting, we've now opened up from zero to 17. So you never have to take an age range that you do not feel comfortable with. You're not financially where you wanna to be to bring another child into your home. And I totally understand that. I have five children and they are very expensive. But foster children come with what's called a monthly stipend. Each month, the foster parents are reimbursed for the child's basic needs. They also come with medical insurance that will cover most or all of their medical expenses. You don't have to own your own home. You can have an apartment, you can rent. Um, children do not have to have their own bedroom. They can share bedrooms as well. You do, however, have to be able to support your own family without the monthly foster care stipend. There's no age cap in foster care. A lot of the older foster parents I know are more wise and patient. They've already effectively parented their own children, and so they've been there, they've done that. Now, maybe you think you're too old for forever, but you should know that foster care isn't meant to be forever. Maybe you can commit to one child, one case, one year. Help a child get to their biological family or to their adoptive family. We know there are a ton of reasons why people feel like they can't foster or adopt, but if you're feeling led to open your home to one of these children, I encourage you to do it this month during National Foster Care Awareness Month. Call a local agency and find out how to get started today.